Hi, everybody. Okay, so um, I am just going to share all of the stuff that I was just kind of playing with today. Um, I didn't really do anything, but I've just had so much fun, I decided to share um, what it is that I worked on today. Um, okay, so I have been extremely, extremely lazy. Um, I was up very early this morning with my daughter and getting all the other kids off to school and um, I took kind of a late shower around lunchtime and um, after that I just changed back into another pair of pajamas. That's just kind of the kind of day I've had. So um, I guess I don't know where to start because I've done like so many little projects today. I guess I'll, I'll start with, with the tags. Um, I am making some little goodies to, um, I'm going to do like a 12 days of Christmas for one of my friends. And one of the things that I'm going to do is give her some handmade tags. So I don't know if I'm going to give her all of these. I think I'm going to give her like maybe 12 different tags, but I've made like quite a few similar ones and I'll just like, I don't know, maybe double up on a few of them or something. So this is one of the first ones that I made. Um, I just cut the tag myself with some of the Georgia Pacific white paper. I'm gonna back it with some more white paper just because, I mean, look at that, all that inking. So I'm gonna back it with some white paper just to kind of clean up the back. But I stamped my favorite stamp. It's just um, an evergreen tree, that's all it is. And um, I stamped it in black and then I just inked with three different blues that I have for my Tim Holtz and just to kind of give it a sky. And then I have some of these, um, I don't know if I have a pack of them. They're just recollection stickers, I believe. I just stuck one on there just to kind of give it something right there. I don't know. And then um, I used my little glue pen, this little thingy, um, Martha Stewart glue pen and I like kind of went over it a little bit and then I used um, my sparkling ice and I decided that I absolutely hate loose glitter I hate it I hate it I hate it it is so messy and look at this it's just terrible um, yeah I don't know why I mean I love stickles and it's not messy so I love that um, so I'm gonna use up my my bottle of what I have um, as fast as I can and just not buy loose glitter again. So I recreated this one four times. Yeah, nothing different except I just used different snowflakes. That's all I did on those ones. And then this is just some Christmas curling ribbon. I just stuck it on there just to kind of see what it would look like. I don't know. I might not keep that there. Um, I bought this stamp here at Michael's like, oh gosh, probably in the summertime, I had to have this stamp. When I saw it, I just love the look of the stamp and I just had to have it. And so I bought it and I knew that I wanted to use it on some of my Christmas stuff and I haven't even used it yet. This is the first time I've used it. So I decided to make a stamp out of it. I mean a tag, a stamp, make a, make a tag out of it. And so what I did was I just stamped it in black and then I kind of went around the top of it with some of my um, Tim Holtz ink just to kind of make it look like the sky and so this is one that's plain I haven't done anything with this one yet I don't know what I'm gonna do with it just because I'm having a lot of fun with the scenes on this one so this one you can see here I added a little bit of stickles on the top of the house along the tree it's really hard to show up on the camera um, a little bit in the snow here kind of along the path and I really like the way that this one turned out. This was the second one that I did. The first one that I did, I glittered up a lot. You can really see it on this one. I glittered up the tree and I glittered up the house. I just didn't think that it looked realistic. I thought that this one looked a little bit more kind of realistic, I guess. Yeah, but I still like the way this one turned out. And then I wanted to try something kind of different. And so I really love how this one turned out. So I bought a ton of these little teeny tiny blings and they're loose blings. And um, what I did was I just took just this piece of scrap um, cardstock. And I, it's really ugly right now. But I took my, um, I've got glitter everywhere. I took my 
um, ATG gun and I just ran two strips of tape down and I just glued a whole bunch of these little things like I taped them all down and then I hit them with my I just took it like a typical red sharpie and I colored them so they all would be red instead of silver and I thought that turned out really good and then I have a whole bunch of these little tiny star shaped ones and so I colored that one yellow with my Copic and I love how that turned out I just think it's really cute so I'll probably do the other one just like that, just because I like it. And then this this was just an idea so that you know it was easier, so I wouldn't mess up my project when I was coloring the rest of them. Okay, so another thing I did that I had a so much fun doing. This is one of the little die cuts that was sent to me in my. Um, it was a little gift, extra gift with my um, card swap that I did. And I'm sorry, I can't think off the top of my head who sent this to me because I just kind of tossed it in with my die cuts because I love my die cut um, snowflakes right now. So on this one, I just added different sized um, little blings there. And I love the way that turned out. I did three of them. So I had a lot of fun doing these. That, those were the ones that got sent to me. And I love the way those fancied up. And then this, I believe, was from the same person. And so I had a lot of fun blinging that one up. I think it just added so much. I love that I didn't have to die cut those myself. That was awesome. I had so much fun playing with those. And then on this one, since I die cut like different colored snowflakes, I'll show you. I'll share just a couple of them here. Here's like a blue. I have like this, it's got a light shimmer to it. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to cut out the snowflakes in this color. Uh, and um, this is kind of like a greenish kind of color, but I thought it was, you know, they were Christmassy. Anyways, um, with the gold one, I decided to add the red. And where'd my big, there's my big gold one. Didn't they just look so much better with all the little bling on there? I love them. So that's what I did there. And then, this is my favorite project that I did today. Okay, so. This is just a hat that I bought at Walmart for like $1.50. I bought a bunch of them. I bought like seven of them. And then I bought some felt. And then I just decided to cut out big black felt pieces and make snowman head. And it was actually a pack of like neutrals. And so I just sewed it on. That's all I did. Really easy. Um, I actually did two of them. I did another one for Bailey. And she was in here when I was doing it. She is so cute. She's like, Mom, it looks like you bought it. Like, you know, that was like such an awesome compliment. But the reason why I did that is because this here, I can't remember what his name is. I think it's like Jack or something from Nightmare Before Christmas. And I know he has stitching here and I'm going to do all that. This is actually for a friend of mine. And I'm hoping that it's turning out okay. Um, for a coworker, she loves Jack from, um, Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas. And, um, her and I and another, um, coworker always like to do like little gifts for each other. They're never really anything big. Um, the same person that I'm doing the 12 days of Christmas for. This is a different person, the other, the third in our group. Um, well, she informed me that she was going to do a handmade gift for me this year, which is, you know, really kind of strange because she's not a crafty person. So that kind of threw me off guard. But um, I think that's awesome. And then she was talking about how she didn't know if she wanted to do it. She would actually rather buy something. And I said, no, you better <laughs> hand make me something because I'm already like, I already had this idea of what I wanted to do. And so um, obviously the um, pins are still in here because I haven't sewn all this down. I just sewed his mouth, which took forever to sew this little tiny piece of felt. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna embroider the stitches rather than, yeah. And just, I just hand cut these. I didn't do like a template or anything. So that's kinda all I really worked on. Um, yeah, I was really enjoying being lazy today, so I just thought I'd kinda share. Um, I don't think I worked on anything else, let me see. Um, I finished up an advent calendar a little late for um, my coworker's sister. Um, yeah, so that's it. I found my um, clear embossing powder that I didn't know I had. 
Um, so I was kind of pumped about that. I'm going to do some like little snowflake. I'm going to um, emboss and then go over with my Tim Holtz. I'm excited about that. Um, you know, I don't know. That's it. I'm really bored. I just wanted to do a video. I hope you all had fun um, watching my my crafty stuff I did today. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll make something just so I can do another video because I'm really bored. All right. Bye, everybody.